Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. Today is Wednesday, January 11, 2023. Yesterday was a strong day for the markets. We opened around the lows of the session, pushed higher, made a little bit of a dip and a lower low, and then pushed higher again to close up at the highs of the session. It also closed at the highest closing price of the past 10 days, but it did not take out the prior day high. So we have a 10-day closing high, but we don't have the highest high of the past 10 days. Kind of a, a little bit of a difference there. The, the high of the day is not higher than uh, the high from two days ago, but it did close higher than that day. And that's the pattern that we're going to be looking at this morning. So let me go ahead and get this set up and discover. I'm using all four instruments. Our setup is going to be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we're trading higher in the overnight session, so I'm going to go to opening filters and click on gap up. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the price patterns library, and I'm going to use these two patterns around the 10-day high. So we closed at the highest closing price of the past 10 days. I'm going to grab that from the active today. It's right here. But we did not make the highest high of the past 10 days. So to do that, I need to go into this section here for the new highs, and I need to find that study. And if I scroll down just a little bit, it's gonna say day after the highest high of the past 10 days, it's right here. I'm gonna hit the minus sign next to that. That's gonna make it a not statement. So it'll look at everything except the days that made the highest high of the past 10 days. All right, so I've got that selected. Now I'm gonna click on indicators and yesterday closed below a 200 day simple moving average. I just grabbed that. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you are gapping up and the prior session closed at the highest closing price of the past 10 days, but it did not uh, make the highest high of the past 10 days, and it closed below a 200-day simple moving average. This pattern's only taken place at 17 times in our database, and that's with data going back to 2003 there. Uh, so 17 samples for the S&P, 16 for the NASDAQ, 13 for the Dow, 26 for the Russell. If we look at the win rates on them, three of them are similar with one outlier. So the S&P coming in, 65% of these have closed higher than the opening print the next day. For the NASDAQ, it is 25%. For the Dow, 69%. For the Russell, 73%. If we look at the average moves, they're pretty similar in size here for the S&P. NASDAQ has a little bit larger average win. Uh, for the Dow, the win is a little bit uh, larger on average, and Russell has pretty similar uh, size moves in either direction here. So uh, the average size win or versus loss is a bit mixed. If you look at the win rates, three of the four have been strong, with the Russell being the strongest and the NASDAQ being the weakest. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.